Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the learning curve effect. So the learning curve is the ability to produce a given level of output at a lower per unit cost as the firm's cumulative output increases. Some important points. Cumulative output is not the same thing as the quantity of output during a given time period. The company plans to produce 10,000 units this year. In all prior years, the company produced 55,000 units. That would be its cumulative output. Learning effects come from workers and managers becoming more familiar with the production process as they gain experience, which leads to increased efficiencies and lower per unit costs. Economies of scale should not be confused with the learning curve. Economies of scale is the ability to produce output at a lower per unit cost when the firm operates at a larger scale of operations. A firm can experience learning effects without having economies of scale. So here's the learning curve on the left. Uh, we have average cost being measured on the vertical axis and cumulative output measured on the horizontal axis. So you can see for this firm, if in total it ever produced 50 units of output, its average cost would be 30. If its cumulative output would be 150, it would enjoy lower average costs of now $15. The curve on the right shows this, cur this firm's long run average cost. And here this firm has constant returns to scale, so the long run average cost curve is just horizontal. So notice that the firm can enjoy the learning curve effect without having economies of scale. So if we go into the year and our cumulative output was 50 units, then our per unit cost will be $30 going into the year. On the other hand, if we have more experience producing this product, our cumulative output is 150, we can enjoy per unit cost during the current period of $15 per unit. Estimates of the learning effects suggest that doubling a firm's cumulative output is associated with a 20% decrease in average cost. Let's look at the learning curve equation. AC is the average cost or per unit cost. A is a parameter. E represents cumulative output or experience, cumulative experience. B is a parameter, and B will be negative for the learning effect. In other words, as cumulative output increases, average cost will fall. It's common to take the natural logs of both sides of this equation. So doing that, we'll get something like this. And B here now gives the percentage decrease in average cost from a 1% increase in cumulative output or experience. So that's like an elasticity measurement. So let's do a numerical example. In this particular case, a 1% increase in cumulative output decreases per unit cost by 0.2%. Or we could say a 10% increase in cumulative output decreases per unit cost by 2%. What is the average cost if the firm's cumulative output is 20,000? So we we'll plug 20,000 into the equation and just simplify this. So minus 0.2 times the natural log of 20,000 is minus 1.981. And 3.5 minus 1.981, there's a little rounding here. We're going to call that 1.52. We're going to exponentiate both sides of the equation. And so E, the mathematical constant E raised to the 1.52 power becomes $4.57. So with a cumulative output of 20,000, the per unit cost is 4.57. At higher levels of cumulative output, average cost will be lower. All right, uh, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.